correlation of any sort between like meditating and just having more confidence with that? Is there a connection in that in any way? I or is think that so. completely I think different? So. Because when you when you meditate, you your mind is more whole. It's more connected. Your feelings and thoughts they are more connected. Some people they say one thing and they think one thing and they do one thing. It's all it's all different. But when you meditate, you can. I think there is more wholeness. More you feel more whole in what you do, and um, that that gives you more confidence. If I look back at my own life, when I was uh, still a lay person, I think uh, I would grow, grew a lot more confident because of meditation. But it, it does help if you meditate and also study about the good teachings of the Buddhism or in, 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 that, in that you have wisdom that comes mm -hmm. together with, with meditation, strength of mind. Yeah. Because it, it amazes me when I just think about like Lompa Tamachiyo and how he sits there and he'll guide hundreds of people, maybe even thousands of people, but it's like he, his voice is just so perfect and it's like, you feel right. like he's just to you, but yet there's thousands of people listening to him and I'm just like, the magnitude of inner power you have to have to be able to do that. It's just really, right, right. I think it takes a very special Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I mean, meditating at the level that Lumpa the Matayo does, you need to be able to sacrifice a lot for 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 what he has accomplished. It's not only about uh, just sitting down; it's also about being able to to sacrifice a lot of comfort and a lot of ego to get to that point. Yeah. And um, there's to. To have be self confident, it's it's very often uh, it's an issue of uh, lack of clarity of mind. We 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 rely on other people's opinions to to find um, happiness. We rely on other people's uh, views. So because of that, we we tend to have a, we have we we are struggling with ourselves because we. We want other people to praise us. Are. We people do not always praise us. Everyone gets criticized sometimes, you know. That's why when our mind starts to starts to struggle, just like uh, birds in the sky and uh, there's wind coming, and the birds they cannot fly properly because the wind is hitting them so much. So, in the same way, our mind can sometimes be like that, you know, when we are looking for other people's approval or something like mm -hmm. that. So I think in meditation and, 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 and when you often study Buddhist teachings is that you learn to distinguish between uh, what is, um, yeah, what, 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 what you learn to assess yourself and teach yourself. And therefore you, need, you don't need to rely so much on other people's opinions because you, have, you often reflect on yourself. You're able to give a good perspective on yourself. You're able to, <clears throat> understand yourself by your own efforts doesn't mean you have you are that self-confidence is the same as being stubborn <laughs> i mean you can still listen to people's criticism but uh it, it just the fact that you can just stick to what you believe in and know what what is right and wrong not always needs to you not always need to rely on other people's opinions that that's a great thing yeah uh, i know for myself